Every year, doctors cause an estimated 29,000 cancers dosing patients with x-rays during CAT scans. What about dentists? 100 million Americans are exposed to dental x-rays every year. Uh, but what about the lead apron and thyroid shield? Doesn't that cover up all your vital organs? All your vital organs except one, called the brain, dental x-rays, and risk of meningioma. Uh, the objective of this study was to examine the association between dental x-rays, the most common artificial source of ionizing radiation, and the risk of intracranial meningioma, the most common type of brain tumor in the United States. They found that those who report ever having a bite wing x-ray had uh, about twice the odds of a brain tumor, and those that got a panoramic series, the full mouth x-rays, before age 10 had nearly five times the odds. So does that mean dental x-rays cause brain tumors? Well, the jury is still out. Uh, just because dental x-rays are associated with brain tumors, argued a group of dental radiologists, doesn't necessarily mean the x-rays cause the brain tumors. Maybe brain tumors cause the x-rays. Seriously, they criticized the paper for not entertaining alternative explanations, such as you know, the facial pain that can be caused by brain tumors triggering the need for dental radiographs, meaning you go to your dentist because your face hurts, and your dentist orders some x-rays. Little do you know, either of you know it could have been a brain tumor all along. Or maybe there's a third variable, such as head trauma, resulting in both additional x-rays and brain tumors. Getting hit in the head as a kid actually increases your risk of developing a brain tumor, and getting hit in the head is also a good way to end up in a dentist chair getting x-rays for you know, broken teeth. While more research is being done, the bottom line is, as with all sources of artificial ionizing radiation, considered use of this modifiable risk factor may be of benefit to patients. This means you know, that the dentist should consider carefully the justification for every exposure. This means dentists should not prescribe routine dental x-rays at preset intervals for all patients, like every six months or every year or whatever. Says who? Says the official recommendation of the American Dental Association. Dentists should not prescribe routine dental x-rays at preset intervals. There's little evidence to support irradiating people looking at all the teeth in search of you know, hidden problems in asymptomatic patients. Accordingly, doctors should select patients wisely, only take x-rays when there is a patient-specific reason to believe there's a reasonable expectation the x-rays will offer unique information influencing diagnosis or treatment.